hello. Since you guys asked for a video instead of a note, I will go ahead and give you the video. Um, we had on, in class today we talked about those Pythagorean triples, those three, four, five triangles, or we could turn a three, four, five into a six, eight, ten using multiplication. Or we had eight, fifteen, seventeen, seven, twenty-four, twenty-five. Um, those, all of those common ones that we saw today in class, there are two others that are in that same category, but they're, the way that we see them is a little bit different. We need to use the patterns, those multiplying patterns, but when we see these, we see them by their angle measurements, which is kind of abnormal or feels, should feel a little weird to you in terms of a, a Pythagorean triple. Now, the first one that we're going to look at is the easier one. And it's just simply a 45-45-90 triangle. Or we could call it an isosceles right triangle. And hopefully, the idea that if I have an isosceles, so this leg is congruent to this leg, and a right triangle, that knowing that these two angles are 45, right? Because if I can say the legs, then I can say the angles. And if it's a triangle, a right triangle, then I would do 180 minus 90 and then take that leftover 90 and divide it between these two angles. And that's where those come from. Hopefully that feels really obvious to you, the fact or how these numbers get arranged. What we, what we have to look at that's new is what happens or what's the pattern if we have a leg of one and another leg of one. Because a nice house is triangle, both legs would be the same. And I think that the best way to do this is actually just go ahead and find that hypotenuse. How long is it? And use your Pythagorean theorem. Go ahead and pause the video, take a second and do that, and then come back. Okay, so I'm pretty confident that you got that that h length is the square root of 2. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. My computer stops freaking out. So h is the square root of 2. And I just want you to start to see that pattern. So I'm going to ask that you use your Pythagorean theorem one more time on this problem. What if you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, except now instead of having a leg of 1, you have a leg of 5. What's the length of the hypotenuse now? Pause it, work it out with the Pythagorean theorem, and then come back so we can draw some conclusions. All right, so I got exhausted in the middle of your work last night, and so now I'm back, and hopefully, because obviously I'm different than I was before, um, hopefully that you found that when you did this problem, you ended up with 5 root 2 as your h value. And I think the big question is really, well, what does that tell you? What does that show you? What pattern can we see? And if h is 5 root 2, let's look at these both at the same time. So we changed the leg to 5, and the hypotenuse became 5 root 2. When the leg was 1, the hypotenuse was square root of 2. And what that tells us is that we have a pattern. It's just a little bit different than the triples that we saw. But in, in many ways, still the same. So I'm going to take this picture, so 45, 45, 90. And I'm going to copy it down and expand it out here for you. I'll pause it so I can do it for you. And what I'd like you to see is that every time you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, that pattern holds true. And we write it kind of funky when we write it to talk about it as a generality. We say that if we call each leg x, if we call each leg x, and since it's isosceles, we know they'll both be x. Then to get this hypotenuse, we need to take x and multiply it by the square root of 2. 
Now the tricky part is going to come when we have to go in the other order. When I give you the hypotenuse and you have to find a leg, it's tricky because of the algebra, not because of the geometry. Because in the geometry, it tells us that if we're going to multiply to make it bigger, then we have to divide it to get it smaller. So I would draw an arrow like this. If we're going from a leg to the hypotenuse, you need to multiply by square root 2. And if you're going the other way, that you have the hypotenuse and you're trying to get a leg, that's when you're going to divide by the square root of 2. I'm going to end my video right there because that's the biggest note for 45, 45, 90. And it's easier for me to put up a couple of little videos today than it's going to be for me to um, do a bunch of big ones. So I'm going to end my video here, and I will see you in my next video about 30, 60, 90.